Hello everyone, welcome to another video and thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you've been enjoying your day so far. So all I wanted to do today is a video on how I failed recently on my uh, running and my sports. Well, that is the wrong word. It's not a failure. Uh, first of all, it is actually something as a learning lesson for me to for the future and one I want to share with you so that hopefully maybe you can take something from this as well. So as you can probably see, we're on my screen, I've got my Strava account open. Go ahead and follow me uh, on Strava so you can see all my training is always up on there. And drop me a comment on one of my activities and let me know you came from my YouTube channel. I'm more than happy to follow you back and it's interesting for me to see what other people are doing training-wise. So, you know, do that as well. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my training log and I just want to show you uh, quickly something. So here you can see uh, this is all my training here from April all the way up until my last race, which was Ultra Trail Snowdonia, 50 miles, 85, 88 kilometers. Uh, and that was a really good race. Ended up doing 17 hours. And um, yeah, I was extremely happy with the result and uh, how I performed on that day. So since then, I decided to take one full week rest, uh, just doing some like cross training here. This is just cycling, uh, little bike rides and walking and, you know, active recovery, basically. So that was really good. Then the second week, I decided to, you know, incorporate a little bit of running in, uh, back in, but keeping it easy. <laughs> As you can see here on this one, I uh, said it was an easy run, but it felt like a 7 out of 10 effort. Now, to be honest, the body felt good and it felt recovered. Uh, I did some runs, but here on this day, I did some, we did like a team uh, marathon and it was like a relay. So uh, there was three loops of 2.2 2 kilometers running at average roughly around 3.35, 3.30 pace. And that was, you know, like a tough, hard effort for me. And um, body felt great, everything felt good, but where I think I did wrong, where I've gone wrong, is that I've done this really big effort only well, two weeks after, oh, it's not really big, but this effort two weeks later, and then we got the an easy run, which is good, but then on this day I did like uh, basically four hours out on my feet, and um, it was with Emma, and it is about 700 meters of hill repeats and uh, 10 kilometer trail run and four hours. So the, the, the mix of these two here really, I could feel at the end of this that kind of like the nerves around the knee uh, got a little bit, I don't know, I weren't sore and there was nothing wrong with it. It was just that I needed to, it was a clear sign that I needed to rest. And that was a big mistake. From my uh, talking with uh, the massage therapist, which I see, Dado, uh, he's really good. And if you're in Helsinki, I'd really recommend that you can go and see him. I'll leave a link down below. But uh, he was just saying, you know, like, it's probably a step too soon. And, you know, that's something also that I believe, uh, these two things both so close together. So, you know, that was a little bit of a setback and, like, so... From there, we're about coming up to three weeks away from that now, but I uh, made the decision, I think, went for a nice long massage on the Monday or the Tuesday here, and I uh, just decided these next two weeks, I'll just take it super easy. I want to keep running. Uh, maybe I could have done a little bit more easy running, but there's also a point where there's no pressure to run, and you just need to kind of go when you feel like it, and... Um, you know, if you're not in a training block or anything, you need to have those down periods so then you can hit those peak periods in good form with good health. So I took these two weeks, especially this week here, uh, kind of just nice and easy. Lots of cross training with bike rides and yoga and stretching, foam rolling. Uh, and then from this week here, as you can see, I started doing a lot more. And this week, I've done uh, running pretty much every day, all pretty easy. I did do an easy-ish Cooper test on this day. Um, 
and uh, yesterday I did do like eight by one minute, one minute off a fire like session. So it, I'm feeling absolutely great. Legs are super fresh, and now I'm back on track. Starting, I can say after these two weeks here. So this was a little bit too soon for me. I think it's not the fact that there was that one session, but those two so close together in hindsight wasn't the best idea. And I just wanted to share that with you, uh, share my experience where I believe that was wrong for me. Now everybody's bodies act and do things differently uh, through history, for, not history, but for um, you know how your body's used to reacting with things and. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and just to make you be aware, look, don't rush back into things. Uh, and if you are doing something, make sure that you get the appropriate rest. And don't think you're a superhuman um, who can just do anything and everything. Obviously, you need to listen and learn from your body. Obviously, your body might be able to do that. So all the better for it. And um, I think it was a sensible idea for me to just calm down for a bit, just enjoy, I mean, I enjoy running, but just enjoy not running, it's a hard thing to do, I love running, it's not, I don't do it for fitness, I don't do it to accomplish races, I do it because it's something I enjoy, and um, as a result of it now, I'm back in perfect kind of form and shape, and uh, looking forward to a nice longish run this weekend, which I'll bring you along, so It'll be a nice adventure out, going to the second highest place in southern Finland. Um, so it'll be quite exciting. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe. You do not know how much it helps if you hit a like button on it, uh, just to try and help the channel grow, and that would really mean a lot for me. Have a great evening, day, morning, whatever, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See you.